Here in North Alabama, people are preparing for the possible global repercussions. Wait, one's Nicole Zedig joins us live now after speaking to people who are concerned about the uncertainty surrounding the Eastern European tensions. Dan and Nikel, this store right here, Bullet and Barrel, it's more than 5,000 miles away from that war happening over in Eastern Europe. But over this past weekend, they saw gun and ammunition sales quadruple. Now, most people I spoke to, they aren't necessarily concerned about the conflict traveling all the way here to North Alabama, but they are concerned about how the war could impact our resources. You know, it's scary even to be here in Huntsville, Alabama. It's scary. When Madison County residents look at what's happening overseas, it's hard not to be concerned. I'm looking at the TV right now. I'm watching bombs falling on, on Kiev. You know, that's real. That's happening. Many of them preparing for how the unrest could impact resources here in North Alabama. As soon as we saw that, that you know, Putin had decided to attack or launch, you know, I, I told my guys, I said, let's go to the gas station. It's 10 o'clock at night, but let's go fill up. Filling up on gas, grabbing a few extra cans of food, and even taking all of their money out of the bank. Everything I could possibly get out so that I could just stop in this point in time, not make money, but not lose money. In addition to having cash on hand, some people want ammunition. The general manager of Bullet and Barrel said this past Sunday, sales were four times higher than normal. I think when there's uncertainty in the world and things that may be outside of our control. You know, there's always that push to go buy a firearm. Taking any necessary precautions to protect the ones they love. This is about taking care of family. It's about taking care of the, the, the ones you love. You take care of yourself for crying out loud. The people I spoke to, they wanted to emphasize that there is a difference between panic buying and simply taking a few extra precautions. They say now is not the time to hoard up on canned goods, toilet paper or gasoline, but definitely don't wait until the very last minute to get those extra necessary goods either. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, Nicole.